Hi, it's Kareen. Let's paint some simple flowers. Let's start with the background, a little bit of meadow ink and some alcohol, and just move that around your paper. Tip the paper back and forth, and just let the ink flow naturally. Now we're going to put in some background flowers and we're just going to dot little dots of ink with a liner brush. And the background is still wet and we're going to let these little dots move on their own. And this flower will be something like a delphinium. And we'll add one more. So just little dots and let them expand in the alcohol that's already on the paper. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of alcohol and just dot it in between these little blue dots and let everything expand and these flowers will look blue and white. I'm going to take a little bit of meadow and just pull it through the wet ink to create some stems. Now we're going to go into a little bit of watermelon ink and let's just make a little oval and this will eventually become a poppy. And we'll do that two more times. and we'll put a little bud in. I'm going to take a number two brush and create a stem. Inks are a little bit thicker now so that I can paint a, a line without them ballooning out. The background is dry. And we'll darken it up with another layer. Using the number two brush and a little uh, blending solution, I'm just going to pull the ink back. I'm using blending solution because there's blue dots underneath the red and the blending solution will clean the paper back to white. And this will be the beginning of our freeform poppies. Now I'm going to add a little wild plum on top of the red. Just tuck that into the bottom petal. And I'll do that to all three flowers. And with a wet brush, I'll just pull some of it back to create a little light. Now I'll take a little bit of raspberry ink and just paint in the top of the flower. And I'll pull some of that back as well to create light in the top part of the flower. Just taking a little bit of black ink making little dots for the center of the flower. We'll add a little bit more and then with the edge of a cut credit card or key card 
just trying to pull out some stamens. I'm just pulling through the wet ink. Adding a little bit of butterscotch in between the bottom and the top petal. And I'll put a few dots of butterscotch ink around the stamens. I'm gonna get a little wet meadow ink. I'm gonna start the leaves. Now I want to blow these so they're free form and there's an air conditioner going in my room as well as a fan so everything's drying quickly so you, if you're in the same situation you'll need to add a few coats of ink and alcohol and I'm just blowing with the Tim Holtz air blower tool and I'll continue to do this and add a few more leaves adding ink and alcohol until I get it to the right consistency and the right wetness to be able to blow it. It's important to hold the blower close to the paper so you don't just dry the ink but actually move the ink. And this is an easy way to create leaves. I'm now going to darken the stems of the flowers up a little bit. and add a tiny little stem for that blue and white flower in a much lighter tone or value. And I've decided I want a few more flowers in my arrangement here. And so with some sunshine yellow ink, I'm just making dots in a circle. Just add a little more interest to this arrangement. Sort of looks like wildflowers. And now I'm just gonna take a damp brush and dot little dots of alcohol and break up that ink. I'm going to use my liner brush and a little bit of botanical ink and just add a few stems. And I've decided I want one more yellow flower and so I'm just going to dot that in and dot a little bit of alcohol around it. And we'll put a little stem in. Easy little flower arrangement on a four by six paper. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on how to paint some simple flowers. Feel free to follow me at kareencarpinoart.com on any of these social media channels. Visit my website for more free lessons on the blog, class information both in studio and virtual, and my e-courses through the Create Smart Academy. And feel free to shop online for art supplies and artwork. Thanks so much. Happy inking.